Hey guys, welcome back to another UiPath tutorial. And in this, we are going to see how do you use the new input dialog box. This input dialog box has got several options, several properties, options, option string. Okay, nobody might have explained you how to use the option string. So how do you really use all these properties? I'm going to explain. We are not going to miss anything. We will cover all the properties and I'm going to explain all. So please do continue with this. So let's get started. So simply drag and drop a input dialog box. We'll start from very basic. Okay, there are so many features we are going to see. First of all, uh, people get confused. What is a title and label? Okay, until you run it, you still have a confusion in the mind. Let me tell you, title should appear on the top. Okay, title. Title always goes on the top, right? So remember that becomes the title and the input label. So there is a field you want to ask something. So that becomes a label. So these are all labels, right? Okay, so let's see that. For example, here I want to give a title as let's say the company name, let's say Expo Hub, whatever the project you're working on. And let's say the input label uh, here, uh, select country, let's say. Or I'll simply say country name. So this becomes the label. So you should never get confused between the title and label. Title means always on the top. So that would, so let me run it, you will see it. Okay, you should not, people generally get confused. What is the title and label? And after they run, it will get clarified, but again still. Okay, so what happens? The title Expo Hub has come on the top. As I said, title, T as in top, okay? and then this becomes the label simple to remember okay now here it is asking for the country name whatever you enter and it's going to capture that in the result variable so this is quite simple now the second thing okay second thing there is something called ease password so what is this option if you select this okay and if you run it what would happen the prompt that you had got just few minutes back few seconds back the same prompt right let's say it's asking for country name okay generally this is used anywhere you are asking for a password you can use that so if i type whatever i type is going to take it in the password format okay if only when you click on show it will appear otherwise it will remain in the password format so that is for uh, people who would like to you know take some basic passwords for some activity this can be used otherwise you can leave it unchecked okay now the very so two different properties we have seen title right and the and the label so we have understood the difference also now the next thing is how to use the options and how to use the option string why there are two two different option areas what are this let me show you one by one okay let's say here we are asking the country name okay go to the options we'll start with options first go to the options click on this and in the curly braces, I'm simply writing India. I'm just entering one value. So what would happen if I enter only one value? It will appear in the text box format, remember. Because there is only one value, but, so let me show you. So look at it. Now what happened? Whatever you have typed, it appeared. So customer has an option to retype it. Let's say some other, he, let's say he's from Japan. So you can change it. So the default value will come as india if you type only one value in the options okay all right now what would happen if you type two values over here how do you type the format is very important so this is a array of string so generally how do you write an array something like this right so string array of strings okay so i'm writing two strings with a comma and curly braces both the sides very simple click on okay so what would happen if you use two values what would happen using one value you saw it what would happen if you use two values let's run it so what would happen it will come in the in the radio button format okay do you see now what would happen if you if you use three values what would happen will it change it to something else it will still remain let's say i'm entering up to three values okay more than one and up to three values let's say i'm saying japan so up to three values it's going to show as radio button 
and anything beyond that more than three it will become a combo box i am going to show you so right now we have entered only three values so what what has happened india us japan okay so this has come in the radio button format all right and one more interesting fact i am going to show you you don't have to literally come and change the multiple choice so i am going to show you let's say input dialog box if you remove this okay and click on okay what would happen automatically it has changed to text box now go to the options and place the values so i did not do anything there okay it's still in the text box if you look at the background okay it's still in the text box the moment you click on okay it is automatically changing to multiple choice okay so it understands you have entered in the options so automatically it will change okay even if you enter a single value for example let's say i'm entering only a single value india so again because this is an array always close it in curly braces remember this okay again it does automatically change it to multiple choice okay remember this so now i was talking if you go beyond three values what would happen so let's say i'm going to say another country let's say nepal so the moment you go beyond three it will automatically turn into a combo box so let me show you or a drop down list okay so look at this it will become a drop down list like this if it is beyond three okay this could be one of the question so you should know it one means it will appear in the text box format and user has the option to change it or simply go with the default value two three it will appear as a radio button more than three it will become a drop down box or a combo box like this okay clear all right so now let's understand so the options property is pretty clear everybody can teach you this but have you explored what is this option string let me tell you so what is the variable type over here this is a array of string variable type array of string you can also declare a array variable over here and simply use the variable name that is also possible now let's do one thing let me remove this i'm remo removing it from the options and i'm going to option string if you go to option string and simply paste it will it work if you click on okay there is an error what is the error one dimensional array you cannot use an array this is this says option string you can only use a string a string single string look at it this is so confusing for example if you highlight your mouse pointer it says a string containing options to choose from now how do you use this okay if you try for example if you try india like this still there is an error let's say if you try india it it is fine so if you do it india if you run it the same uh, things that got applied in the options the previous property same applies over here if you type only one value it will show as a look at it it's going to appear it show as a text box and the customer has an option to change it right he has an option to change it now how do i use the option string so remember what is the difference between this two this is an array of string and this is just a string variable so if i have to use two values how do i use it let's say it says use this and then let's say you are typing us still there is an error do you see and many people will have problem they will not be able to use reason there is an error i am telling you there is a very simple way are you interested let me show you the simple way is put a double quote let's say i want to enter multiple values let's say india so put a right semicolon and then give a space then you can give this space is not necessary but japan okay how many values you have to write you can write this way continue to write how many values you need so what happened is everything is considered as a string single string a string and all are separated by this semicolon okay so click on okay and then if you run it because there are four values the same rule applies it will become a combo box if you put three values here then it will appear as a radio button same same exactly the same rule applies do you see that it it worked now because i have given a space do you see there is a space it took here it do not provide a space while typing that so you can remove that space 
okay simply separate them by so i should not have a space okay so now with all of this it should be very clear now if you want to see the output it's quite simple simply create a variable let's say result and use a message box okay so this particular all the properties you may not get it elsewhere so i hope this value must have added some knowledge to you okay let's see the final run okay so the output would appear now all right so thank you guys for watching our videos please do subscribe in case you have not done it we are going to meet in the next video take care bye bye